That's right, Rosie. I mean, you know, I am now in the restaurant with Sue with Whiston. It's Kula Poke in Birmingham. This restaurant only opened uh, just a few months before the pandemic, so it's a very new restaurant to the city. They opened with a lot of hope. It's the only Hawaiian restaurant in the whole of the West Midlands. But uh, pandemic and then a lorry driver shortage is causing problems, isn't it, Sue? Thank you so much for joining me. Now, just tell me, what impact is this having on your business? We're finding that the shortage of lorry drivers has had an incredible impact on our business. When we order from our UK wholesalers, obviously we, we place a large uh, order for food every week, and 15 to 25 percent of what we order simply doesn't turn up. And I understand that you've also had problems with having deliveries just from London because of the diesel shortage. Absolutely. Only last week, our Japanese wholesaler, who brings us our specialist foods, wakami seaweed, edamame beans, very specialist products, uh, emailed us out of the blue to say, no deliveries this week, shortage of diesel fuel. Now, what impact is this going to have on your business? Because industry experts are predicting that this situation with the shortage of lorry drivers could continue for up to a year. What impact will this have on you long term? Um, it's going to have a tremendous impact because obviously when you're trying to source products at very short notice from alternative sources, the prices are greater and that obviously has uh, an impact on us in terms of what we're paying. But I very much hope this isn't going to go on for a year. It strikes me that a shortage of drivers must be something that we can solve quickly if we throw enough money at it, we as in the government. So your business um, opened just before the pandemic hit, so you've had that challenge, now you've got this challenge. How are you coping? We're coping fine, we're keeping optimistic, we're all, we're all working 60, 70 hours a week, we'll crack it. That's great. Thank you so much, Sue, for joining me. Sue needs to go and get ready for the lunchtime hoard now. But I can tell you that the, um, the government um, are offering uh, short-term visas to foreign lorry drivers to, to help fill that gap. There are 5,000 visas available. But the Road Haulish, Haulage Association are saying that we've got 100,000 lorry driver jobs that need to be filled in order to continue to um, you know, make sure deliveries, not just at restaurants, but supermarkets and petrol stations continue uh, to be met. Uh, so the demand is, is high for lorry drivers and some companies are putting up their salaries. Um, retired lorry drivers are being invited back by the government to work again. Um, those whose licenses are about to expire have been told that they can continue working until the end of January next year. But like I said, some industry experts are saying that that isn't going to be enough to, to solve this problem. And we are looking at up to a year uh, of this uh, situation to have an impact and some are saying that we've been talking about this for years, we've been asking the government to do something and they just haven't acted uh, quick enough or fast enough but uh, whether what sort of impact this will have long term on the supply chain uh, remains to be seen in the weeks and months to come.